um, we are going to explore some of the deeper spinal muscles, uh, the muscles that are going to contribute to your posture, as well as spinal uh, stability, and we could say integrity as well. So oftentimes when we talk about the, the safety of the spine, we end up talking about the quote-unquote core muscles. Um, usually that is the transverse abdominis muscle. Uh, the reason why we end up talking about this transverse abdominis muscle is because if you basically suck your belly in towards your spine, which unfortunately is, is the only motion of transverse that I cannot show you on this model, um, you end up compressing the viscera, your, your, your internal organs. Um, and when you compress the viscera, it presses on the spine to push the spine backwards towards, um, towards, well, towards your back. And the idea is that um, you will avoid overarching the spine um, by compressing the, the belly in. And that's all, all well and good. And it's important to notice, right, that the, uh, I've drawn these little pink lines here to show you that the transverse abdominis really connects through a fascial sheet uh, or sheath that, um, that the fibers run along these pink lines and they connect here into the spine. Um, but it's not shown here in this model at this moment. So I want you to just get this sense of this corset like muscle wrapping all the way around the spine. Now, uh, just to show you what the transverse abdominus muscle really does um, here is that we, if we have uh, both of them acting at the same time, whoops, excuse me, there we go, um, then underneath here, oh no, ah, it's showing the oblique. Well, on the right side, um, not highlighted, underneath okay the transverse abdominus muscle if both of them are working at the same time it can move you into trunk flexion right this muscle contracts and it pulls you into a basically a crunch um, the transverse abdominus muscle if one at a time works there, there are two actions you can see from this one of them is a side bend. You can see the fibers on the side here contract and it pulls you over to the side. Uh, the other is rotation. So you can see that um, due to the direction of the fibers where they go kind of sideways, uh, you can also be pulled into rotation with transverse abdominis. Um, but I'm not going to talk about transverse abdominis anymore because, frankly, it's my least uh, favorite and uh, I, I think the least interesting um, muscle when we talk about core. And I think that when we talk about core, if we get distracted by abdominal muscles, we are really missing the boat. Um, that the, the real core muscles of the spine are the ones that actually, you know, really directly tie into the spine. So we're looking at the multifidi here. That would be number one. Uh, this is a really deep muscle. Uh, this is really, uh, I guess, intrinsic. This is a muscle that, you know, no matter what you do, no matter how you move, this muscle should always um, have some tone uh, to just make sure that there's some stability between each vertebra of the uh, spinal column. So it's basically always like a little bit taut uh, when you're moving. And that makes sure that there's not any sloshing around um, between the bones. Um, it's, so that's its intrinsic, I guess you could say, its intrinsic function. But it also contributes a little bit to lateral flexion. You could see if one side pulls, then it'll pull you sideways. Um, on top of that, we would also find that if both uh, sets of multifidi... Oh, there we go. If they both fire at the same time, they will pull you, here we go, into, imagine that both sides are firing, there we go, into uh, extension, into a back bend. Uh, the other thing is that if one side is working at a time, due to the direction of the fibers, it can rotate the spine. Um, but it's a, it's a small player in rotation. We've got way, way, way bigger muscles uh, that are helping to rotate. But these are tiny here, so it's helping to make sure that the rotation it, the, the aspects that are um, 
these fibers are connecting from the, the transverse processes uh, here to the uh, spinous processes. So it just makes sure that these parts right here are anchored um, in this nice like cross-hatched sort of way. Uh, so uh, it provides for a lot of stability in the spine while we're rotating. Okay. Then we've got uh, really the erectors of the muscles um, that we want to talk about. So the erectors are composed of three parts. You've got the um, iliocostalis uh, muscle here that you know goes down from the ilium and goes up and connects to the ribs. Um, then you've got the lungissimus muscle, and uh, that's again going to go all the way down from basically the sacrum uh, all the way up to uh, a little higher up on the ribs than the iliocostalis. Um, and I'll just show you what this muscle does, and it's representative of, of what the other two will do as well. But you can see that uh, one side at a time, if it contracts, it, we, we can pull ourselves into a side bend. We can lean to the side. Um, and it, if both of them are contracting at the same time, it's not going to show it. It'll only show one. But just imagine... Now it's contracting and it's pulling you upright. So this is responsible for our upright posture, being able to walk on two legs or even to lean back. So if we're doing back bends in yoga, it's really important to use the strength of the back to do it rather than pushing ourselves into the pose using our hands or using gravity. Um, and then up here, the, the spinalis, uh, semispinalis muscles um, that actually go under Neath the traps, and you can see go up and connect uh, to the the base of the spine. This is a uh, sp semispinalis capitis, so to the base of the skull. Okay, um, so and these muscles are going to again pull us into uh, you know back bends, help us look up um, as well as side to side. I'll just I'll show this little leaning a little bit to the side and. Here's a, uh, a little bit of rotational aspect as well. And many of these uh, deep muscles of the spine are going to do the same thing here. Right. Okay. So uh, the trapezius muscle is really important. Um, this is the upper part of the trapezius muscle. I didn't want to get into the whole traps because that's really more of a shoulder uh, muscle. But... Uh, you know, having strong muscles here that surround the neck, especially when you're dealing with uh, a lot of, you know, if you're picking things up or punching things or, you know, dealing with some heavy loads in your arms uh, for any reason, you know, these muscles, they're, they're really big. Um, so there's a lot that can happen. If, uh, if, for example, these muscles are uh, too tight, right? Then they've got a lot of pull. They've, they can generate a lot of force and they can start to really pull on, on the, the vertebra here by pulling on this. It's called the, I, I believe it's pronounced nuchal uh, line or possibly neutral. I've heard nuchal. Um, but anyway, it, it'll start to pull basically on the vertebra through this uh, ligament here and, uh, and start to get, basically get your, your vertebra out of place, you know, and, and um, start to cause some neck pain and discomfort. Um, so it, on the other hand, too, right, if uh, let's say you get in, um, unfortunately, uh, like a car accident or something, you know, these muscles around your neck, if they're really strong, especially these big ones here, you know, they can start to reduce your, your risk of concussions if you train the muscles around the neck. So they're all important. Uh, this is more of a shoulder muscle, though. Uh, then we've got, you know, these deeper muscles on the front side of the neck. Let's talk about the scalenes. Oftentimes these are used if, if we have sort of stressed out patterns of breathing. Um, but they can also contribute here to, you know, pulling the, the neck sideways, right? Or we could uh, see this with, with all of the scalenes. They can help with lateral flexion. Um, I, I think they're more interesting as a breathing muscle when we're doing um, some more active types of breathing. Not that they should actually be active when you're breathing most of the time. That would be kind of a faulty mechanism. Okay, so sternocleidomastoid, this is the big one If you um, that you can actually feel on the front of your neck. It goes down and connects to the, the basically the, the top of your sternum. Uh, the manubrium. 
And this is really important for rotation of the spine. Um, so let's just see this, the cervical spine. So it'll pull you here. The right side pulls you to, to look to the left because of its line of pull, okay? Then the it'll also pull you into a side bend a little bit. And if both of them work together at the same time, then you can look down. Um, so these are these are going to be important muscles for the stability of the spine on the front side of the neck. So, okay, um, that is. Uh, I did not mean to turn these other uh, digestive and all this stuff on. So. Anyway, that those are the the deeper muscles that help to protect the spine. Um, when whenever we're training, you know, it's really important to start to strengthen these. It's not sexy, you know. Most people aren't super into having a, a super ripped back, um, at least not compared to how much people seem to be obsessed with having, you know, a six pack, washboard abs, uh, that sort of thing. So people really tend to focus on the abs as as sort of the core muscles, um, but frankly, I I just think that you know we're really missing the boat if we don't start to strengthen the back. You know, in uh, sort of a fitness scenario, these are like doing Superman's. You know, lay on the belly, lift up all the the arms in front of you and the legs, look like Superman. In yoga, we call it shalabhasana or locust pose, and there are a lot of different variations from the belly. Um, but basically, don't use your hands and lay on your belly and do a little bit of a back bend. And, and the muscles that are going to lift you up are all these in, these deep, deep spinal muscles. And, and these are strong, strong muscles here. Um, and it's important to strengthen them. Uh, in fact, I think these are some of the most important muscles to, to make sure that we have nice and strong and functional so uh, that, these are the muscles of the, the, the back that uh, I wanted to cover today. These are the deep muscles of the back. Um, yeah, uh, I'll uh, you know just stay tuned for the next video. I'll cover um, the lower extremities probably next. Okay, cheers.